Okay, let's go back in time a little bit and learn a little bit about China and its past. We're going to go all the way back to about the 16th century BCE. For those of you who do not know, BCE stands for Before Common Era. Now, what you're thinking is, well, what could have happened back then that was so important? The 16th century BCE was the start of the Shang Dynasty. The Shang Dynasty came to power after the fall of the Sia Dynasty and stayed in power until about the 11th century BCE when the Zhu Hao Dynasty overcame it. The Shang Dynasty was considered the start of Chinese history because very little was known about the previous dynasty, known as the Sia Dynasty. Now, China's a pretty big place, and you're probably thinking, okay, well where is this Shang Dynasty at? Well, it is located on the northern part of China, right by the Yellow River Valley. Now, due to its location, the cities located within the dynasty were put at great risk of the mass floodings that happened very often. Because of all the flooding, the capital had to be moved five different times to its final spot in a place called Yin. This is why sometimes the Shang Dynasty is also referred to as the Yin Dynasty. Now, stone was not very easy to come by in these parts of China, so they ended up building their houses out of natural materials such as wood, earth, etc. And because of that, it is very hard to tell how much the Shang Dynasty actually controlled because the buildings kept on getting washed away by the massive floods. The upside to living so close to the Yellow River Valley was that you would always have a fresh source of drinking water. Okay, so there's this dynasty in China. It gets flooded a lot. Well, who's running this? The first person to run the Shang Dynasty was a gentleman who went by the name of Shang Tang. Tang was also the military leader. The Shang Dynasty had a good military force for that time. The infantry was equipped with bronze weapons in bronze and leather armor. Some weapons included spears, pole axes, dagger axes, and the compressed bow. Wow, that's a scary army if you ask me. Okay, so we know where the Shang Dynasty is located. We also know some problems that it ran into. The leader and the military. This dynasty still has a lot more for us to learn. Now, for a place this size, there actually wasn't that much trading going on with the outside world. A lot of the goods would be traded within the small villages that were within the dynasty. They would move their goods by wagon or by canoe in the Yellow River. The Shang Dynasty had a different way of speaking to the gods. If they had a question such as the weather, planting crops, the future of a royal family, military attacks, and other things such as this. They would carve on the shells and other bones. They called these oracle bones. They then took the bones and shells and placed them into a fire. After they had been on the fire a while, the bones and shells would begin to crack. They would read these cracks, and that's how the god answered their questions. The writing system they used had about 600 different symbols in it. Now, just like every dynasty, there were different social classes. At the top you had the nobles. This was the highest a person could be, and it was mostly royal families that were living the good life. Right under them was the craftsmen. This was a small but very talented class of people. They would work for the royal families and other noble members. Traders were right in the middle of the levels. Traders did just what it sounded like they did. They traded goods. But mostly the goods they traded were the shells and bones used for oracle bones. The farming class was the biggest class. That makes sense because everyone needs food. Last but not least was the slaves. They were at the very bottom. If a slave's master would have died, the slave would have been sacrificed to the gods. Now, the elite class, called the nobles, were very into art. Some of the artwork that was out around that time was mainly bronze artwork. The heaviest piece of bronze artwork was a chest. The Shang Dynasty was a very important part of China's history.